My name is Monali Eknath Chaudhar. I am studying in Shriyash College of Engineering and Technology, Aurangabad, in third year civil engineering. The topic for my poster presentation is Protection of Global Environment Against Pollution. We all know that prevention is better than cure. So, by preventing from pollution, we can protect our environment. When the term pollution comes into our mind, it is nothing more than an undesirable change in chemical, physical and biological characteristics of air, water, soil, land which causes health problems to all the living beings. In all, there are six types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, noise pollution, nuclear pollution and e-waste. First, we will start with air pollution. Acid gases like O3, SO2, NO2, etc. causes air pollution. Whereas CFC, CO2 leads to global warming and ozone depletion. Fluorine, lead and arsenic are the causes for death of animals. Even primary pollutants and secondary pollutants are the sources of air pollution. In primary pollutants, volcanoes, breaking seas, etc. causes primary pollution. Whereas in secondary pollution, pollutants, blowing dust, fire, etc. causes secondary pollution. Now, we will start with the second type of pollution and its causes, that is water pollution. Sources of water pollution are point source, source is inidentifiable. Non-point source, source is not identifiable. Also, breweries, tanneries, paper and pulp mills, etc. are the types of organic and inorganic sources of pollution. Also, metals like sodium, copper, chromium, lead, mercury have serious effect on living organisms. Now, the fourth type, that is land pollution. Insecticides, industrial waste, nitrification, etc. lead to the pollution of land. Now, the fourth type of pollution is noise pollution. Industrial activities, transportation activities, domestic activities, cultural activities, agricultural activities, defense activities, mining activities has adverse effect on noise pollution. It has effects such as physical effects, psychological effects or physiological effects. These are some of the images of noise pollution. The fifth type of pollution is nuclear pollution. Sources of nuclear pollution are nuclear accidents from nuclear energy generation plants, use of radioisotopes, mining, spillage of radioactive chemicals, test on radiation, cosmic rays, etc. And the last type of pollution we are going to see the causes of is e-waste. E-waste is nothing but the waste material like discarded computers, office electronics equipment, entertainment electronic devices, mobile phones, television sets, refrigerators contribute as e-waste. Also, electronic scrap components such as lead, cadmium, beryllium or brominated flame retarders contributes to e-waste. We are going to see about prevention of pollution. First, we will start with air pollution. Prevention of air pollution can be done by natural mechanism, in natural mechanism, dispersion, settling, absorption. And second is artificial mechanism. Third is controlling air pollution through regulation. What is natural mechanism? In natural mechanism, there are three types. Dispersion, settling and absorption. Some suspending pollutants are dispersed by wind. So in settling, due to gravitational pull, heavy pollutants settle. In absorption, pollutants are absorbed by moisture or raindrops and air is made clear. Artificial mechanism. In artificial mechanism, controlling pollution at source only. That is, use of gravitational settling chambers, centrifugal separators, wet scrubbers, back filters and electrostatic precipitators. Second, construction of tall chimneys. Third, development of green belt around the industry. Controlling air pollution through regulation means that is the Clean Air Act of 1970s which mandates settling of standards for four primary pollution that is particulate matter, SO2, CO and fourth nitrogen and ozone so that is secondary pollutants. The second is water pollution. Prevention of water pollution can be done by disinfection of water, sedimentation, filtration and softening of water. Disinfection of water. It is the process of killing organic life that is bacteria to make water safe for drinking. This can be done by chlorination. Sedimentation. This is the process used to remove the suspended material from water. Third is land pollution. The prevention of land pollution can be done by 
by making vegetation cover, by terrace or contour bonding, by controlling grazing activities. Faulty sanitation methods must be improved. Fourth type is noise pollution. Prevention of noise pollution can be done by by reducing noise at source. Protective green belt should be developed to separate residential area and industries. Noise pollution can be controlled by using ear plugs, ear muffs, noise helmet, headphones, etc. Areas like school, hospital must be kept in silent zone. Noise levels at various zones of city are given in decibels. First, industrial area. 75 for daytime and 70 decibels for nighttime. Commercial area 65 decibels for daytime and 55 for nighttime. Residential area 55 for daytime and 45 decibels for nighttime. Silence zone 50 decibels for daytime and 40 decibels for night. The fifth type is nuclear pollution. Nuclear pollution can be controlled by proper labeling, banning of nuclear tests, reusing, and alternative energy source, etc. The last type is e waste. E-waste can be controlled by or prevented by 3 hours, reduce, reuse, recycle. Lastly, I will say that stop being mean, keep air clean. More noise you hear, faster harms your ears. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Go green, drink clean. Don't spoil the soil. Save water, save life. Thank you.